Hello everyone, my name is MegaMage96 and welcome to this Modern Warfare 3 Team Deathmatch on Arkadim. And uh, yes, my first Modern Warfare 3 gameplay, sorry if I sound very loud, but I'm having to use a old uh, headset mic due to the fact that my my mic understand is actually uh, it's bust, it's broken, I don't know why, but it has, and you might hear little little things, <laughs> like tiny little things, because this thing is unbelievably sensitive. But uh, yeah, off the microphone now, uh, onto Modern Warfare 3. Loving this game. I've uh, got Battlefield 3 as, as well. You can expect some gameplay from that as well. Loving both the games, having great fun with both games. And uh, I'm really liking the way they're setting up, or well, they've set up Modern Warfare 3. Um, the kill streak system where you can have uh, like three different kill streak um, setups, and each you got like the assault setup, um, which basically focuses on attacking. You've got the uh, support setup, I believe it is, that focuses on helping your team. And you've got like a, um, a, I think it's called a specialist setup, but I don't think I've unlocked it yet, but basically it, um, I have no idea actually what it does, I don't know what I was going to describe it. And that little thing, the IMS, the Intelligent Munition System, loving that. Put it down just then, I just unlocked it, didn't have a clue what it did. Uh, I've now found that it's like an awesome little mine system that fires mines up in the air and blows up when the enemy get near, and uh, I put it on a bit of a choke point like that. Got me kills all day, all day. This is a uh, a 21 and one gameplay. I think it is. No, I'm correct in thinking that it's 21, 21 kills, one death. And I uh, got my ace on 30. Uh, get the um, get another IMS and the UAV, of course. I've got I've got hardline on as well, but uh, that's because I've literally uh, I think I'd unlocked it in the previous game just before I started this match. So yeah. Uh, Really, really enjoying this. I, you may have noticed that I get 200 points each time I kill someone. I just bought double XP. Um, loving that system, by the way, in the prestige store where you can buy double XP. So you think, oh, I'm doing pretty well. I didn't miss that guy, by the way. I'm doing pretty well at the moment. Maybe I'll buy some double XP and, uh, and really, really get my, uh, really get my, the points up and, and let's, let's rank up a couple of times because I'm playing well. Have double the XP, and I'm liking that system. I presume that you get prestige points by prestiging, um, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, it's, it's most probably that, um, and, and the fact that you can like unlock a, a piece of a, a piece of equipment, whether it be a gun or, or something, you can you can unlock with. But you can only do that once you've prestige once. Because I was going to immediately buy the ACR. Because if you've ever watched some of my Modern Warfare 2 stuff, you know that I, uh, I like the ACR very very much. Um, I always seem to do well with it, gotcha. Um, I always seem to do well with it, uh, so when I prestige, I'll most likely just buy it immediately, provided that I like it on this game, of course. Uh, I do notice they haven't brought back the COD point system, but they have brought back the theatre system. Um, theatre obviously proved to be very popular, people liked it, so yeah. Uh, this map, oh, good, uh, I, I really quite enjoy uh, this map, I, I seem to do well on it a lot. Um, and of course, it, it gets quite frustrating at the beginning of a game because I can play Call of Duty's uh, reasonably well. I'm not amazing, but uh, I can play them reasonably well. So it irritates me um, when I get on. I play, I play rubbish because, of course, I don't know the maps, but I expect myself to be able to play like I, I know the Call of Duty's on like the back of my hand, and I don't. So I, it, I, I frustrate myself basically by having too high expectations. But uh, yeah, that, that my little thing. I I'll get the AC in, in just a second. Um, but uh, but yeah, really, really, really like Call of Duty, the way they've set it all up. Theater mode, nice and simple, just like Black Ops. Um, nice and easy to use. The way that you get attachment for your guns and, and camos, no need for headshots and, 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 and kills. You know, just nice and simple kills. You get, you get the kills. Double kill here, I think. Yes, double kill. Um, you get the kills of the gun, you earn some nice attachments for it. That's simple, and I've got a, a brand new camo after this game called Hex, and it looks really, really cool on the M4A1. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, look, really, really liking it, really, really enjoying myself. Battlefield 3, just a few, like, little negative points. You seem to run, or well, you, well, you use the sprint button. It's not a sprint, okay, it's a, it's a dawdle. Okay, and it's very frustrating after coming from Battlefield, where you can sprint unlimitedly and a decent pace, whereas this one, you sprint for five seconds, and, and my nan could walk faster. But <laughs> and you're supposed to be a special forces soldier that, that can't run, apparently. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, apart from those two little things, that just niggle me about Call of Duty in general. Um, 
um, bridge or anything. Um, but but uh, but yeah, apart from those little things, loving the game. Uh, gameplay is going to wrap up here, but uh, really enjoying it. You can expect more gameplay from me, and you can expect some uh, Battlefield 3 gameplay, which I'm also really, really, really enjoying. Um, so, coming up to the end of the game, that's the end. Uh, have a good day, guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.